The American Recovery and Reinvestment Act. This is the Ara Report. New NSF funding for new American discovery. In this episode, we'll take a look at a new material that may revolutionize battery power for everything from laptops to hybrid cars. We'll take a ride in NSF's Gulfstream 5 jet as it chases tropical storms over the Atlantic. And we'll investigate how a team at Texas A&M University is taking the creep out of search and rescue robots by developing a multimedia head to better interact with victims. Let's take a look. Flying aboard NSF's Gulfstream 5 jet, scientists chased down clusters of intense tropical thunderstorms over the Atlantic in an effort to better understand how hurricanes are born. This NSF RF-funded project takes researchers right over these young storm systems for close observation. They spiral toward the towering clouds at the core of these developing storms, deploying drop zones, parachuted instrumented packages that profile the atmosphere top to bottom and use remote sensing and cloud physics instruments to describe their innermost workings that control winds and dropping barometric pressure at the ocean surface. Scientists hope that capturing processes at these earliest stages will ultimately allow them to distinguish tropical thunderstorm clusters that expand into full-blown hurricanes from those that don't. Batteries store a considerable amount of energy but take too long to charge and have limited lifetimes. In contrast, ultra-capacitors used to power today's hybrid cars can be repeatedly charged and discharged very quickly, but do not store as much energy as batteries. Two research teams led by Rodney Ruoff and Christopher Bolowski at the University of Texas Austin, with the help of an NSFRA grant, are developing methods of fabricating graphene-based ultra-capacitors as efficient alternatives to batteries. Graphene may provide a means to quickly store and utilize large amounts of electrical energy in an environmentally friendly way. Ultimately, the collaborative team hopes that graphene will contribute to the long-term storage of energy needed for the electrical grid and other similar applications that require highly efficient electrical energy storage and utilization. There is a structure as collapsed. There's confirmed that there's people that are trapped inside. When a building has collapsed, leaving someone trapped alone beneath the rubble, it leaves a dark, smoke-filled space where there's barely any room to move. Then, a search-and-rescue robot makes its way across the wreckage. With its onboard camera, its operator has identified a human and moves the bot closer. Its bright lights and monotone voice do little to make the victim feel more comfortable or safe. Robin Murphy and a research team at Texas A&M University with an NSFR grant have now found a way to make victims more comfortable by taking the creep out of these robot encounters with a little help from Hollywood. Thanks to a Pixar animator, the team's newest member, Survivor Buddy, will have a multimedia head that can actually respond and communicate with victims. The head can fit on any traditional robot and will allow victims to have two-way video conferencing, watch the news, listen to music, and even surf the web, hopefully making it less creepy. A new version of Survivor Buddy has been completed, and experiments at Disaster City are expected this spring and summer. <laughs> 